Hey, my name is Dmitra and I am software engineer at Scale Labs. And I'm usually working on the stuff that's running on the nodes, such as CLI tools that is used by validators or admin container that operates as chains on the node. But now I've switched a little bit to the IMA part of the project, and that's exactly what we'll be talking about. So today I'll tell you a little bit about IMA and tools that can be used by DApp developers and DApp users. But first of all, let's do a super quick infrastructure recap. I'll tell you on a very high level how scale network is structured. So what is scale network? That's a set of scale nodes run by validators. What's an S chain? That's a subset of nodes that runs an Ethereum side chain on them. Each scale, scale S chain consists out of 16 scale nodes. Let's take a closer look on a scale node. What's inside? Inside of scale node, we have a set of base container that manages the machine, such as scale admin, SLA, etc. And we also have dynamic containers for each scale chain assigned to the node. For each S chain, we have two containers, scale D and IMA. Let's take a closer look on IMA container. What it does, it basically looking for all pending transfers and performing all transactions, transfers for from mainnet to S chain, from S chain to mainnet and repeat. Now let's zoom all the way out to see the Ethereum mainnet part of the project. So that's Ethereum mainnet. Here we have a set of IMA smart contracts deployed. And also we have a huge piece, a set of scale manager smart contracts. And each IMA agent is connected to the IMA smart contracts on the mainnet. I think that should be enough for the basic understanding of the topics that we'll cover next. So what is IMA SDK? That's a piece of software that combines scale node part and a zero mainnet part in the single package, but with just one node and without base containers and without other chains on the node and without scale manager set of contracts. So only stuff that's required for IMA focused development. And all of that shipped as a single Docker Compose file with two containers, one with scale D and IMA inside and second one running local Ganache. So that's IMA SDK. Okay, let's quickly reiterate. IMA SDK is a tool to emulate scale node and IMA environment on a single machine for dev purposes. Okay, what about IMA.js? IMA.js is a TypeScript library for DApp devs that's available on NPM. It's designed to simplify all interactions with NPM, such as deposit and withdraw, ETH, ERC20, ERC721. Uh, 1155 tokens and perform all administrative actions by its chain owner. We already have some early docs that showcases IMA usage. You can find it in our docs portal. Let's take a look on a typical use case of IMA JS library right now. So let's say that we have S chain A with four nodes in it and S chain part of the AMA contracts are pre-deployed on the S chain. And we also have a part of AMA contracts that live on the zero mainnet. So we have S chain part of AMA and we have mainnet part of AMA. And let's say that we have DApp dev and DApp user here. And we have DApp that want to use AMA. The app dev could integrate IMAJS library into that app to simplify interactions with IMA for the end user. In this way, the app user could easily access both S chain and mainnet parts of the system. 
just like that. And for the deficit up, S chain and mainnet parts could be easily replaced with IMA SDK, dev tool that we discussed earlier, like this. And we already have the first app that uses IMA that is in the works. It's called IMA UI. That's a static website that is used to easily transfer tokens between S chain and mainnet. And I will show you a quick demo. And please know that the project is on the really early stages. So UI looks not so good right now, but we are working on it. All right, so here we can see the dashboard and we switch to the deposit ETH box. Uh, met, uh, the MetaMask pop-up window shows up and requested us to switch the network to the main net. We deposit in East, the S chain, and we can see the transaction is already confirmed on our main net, but we are waiting for the funds to be available on the S chain. Uh, it worth mentioning that it's all working with IMA SDK running locally. So here we can see that S chain balance changed. Now we can withdraw is. Uh, now we switch in, uh, in, in MetaMask to the S chain network, withdrawing the funds, confirming the transaction, waiting for. Uh, for the transaction to be mined on the S chain side, then we're waiting for the IMA agent inside IMA SDK to process this transaction and unlock funds on the mainnet. So here we can see that we have our is unlocked on the mainnet, and uh, you can see that for the for the ETH we have three steps: we have deposit, withdraw, and then we have unlock on the mainnet which is different from the from all other tokens because for tokens we have just uh, deposit and withdraw but for ETH there is one more step in, in this process so that's that's a quick demo that showcases the use of both IMA JS and IMA SDK okay so i think that's pretty much it so We've just talked about IMA SDK, the dev tool that is used to emulate scale environment on a single machine. IMA JS library that is used to simplify interactions with IMA smart contracts on both S chain and mainnet sites. And about IMA UI, our first project that uses IMA JS under the hood. Hope everything was clear. Thanks.